everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and welcome back to the third, third. Hey everybody, Sponge Murphy here, and welcome back to the third building video or conversion video for the Storm Fiends for my Clan Scurvy slash Warband Army. Now, this is the final guy. This is a combination of the other two that we had. We had the range guy, we had the melee guy, and this guy is, he has a shooting arm and he has an, a normal hand. So he's a bit of a combination of both with a little extra built into him as well to make him stand out a little bit more. So I started off with gluing the right hand, the right arm in like normal with this model. Um, I didn't change anything about that. But with the left side of it, I wanted him to have an arm and this bit, I've been using a lot of bits from the giant kit. So this bit where the mouse, or the mouse, where the giant's hand is holding a guy, I really like that. I really wanted to use it, I wanted to make it work somehow. So I got it for, I took it out for this and what I did was I cut the guy's arms off, I wanted to replace him. This is his handler. The other two guys have handlers on this base, this guy's had enough of his handler. He's picked them up and he dragged them fuck him across the battlefield, fed up with him. So um, so I cut off his arms and I replaced his head as well with a night runner head. I'm pretty sure night runner, yeah. And I, the arms I didn't want, the other arms were fine, they're just like holding them, just normal human hands, but I wanted them to have like a weapon. And I wanted them to have a look like he had a little bit of battle damage as well. So I drew, what I did was I cut off the two arms and I drilled uh, two sockets in, well I did it with the head as well, so I drilled three sockets and with the scaven bits, they're like the end parts are kind of round so you can fit them into that socket. So for his right arm I gave him like an arm with a dagger. For his left arm now, when I cut off here, um, what I did was I put in a bit of an arm to make it look like he's been, like the other guys had ripping off a bit of his hand or a bit of his arm as well from kind of the elbow down. So he has a bit of battle damage on him and here you are. And just, drilling like mad I love once I get into the drilling mode I like I'll drill sockets drill sockets for arms for days and um, because it, it works it's a really good technique to have so here I am cutting off the arm I cut off a spare hand which I think is actually a right hand and um, it's very hard to get left-handed pieces uh, as you know if you've tried Um so I glued that in it fitted like a glove with the socket and everything so it really looks like he's uh, he's on his last legs here and when I put it on, when I glued it on, the hand is, it doesn't, it's not that it's too small. It's just the way the arm is a bit wider than the hand. So I had to kind of file that down later on uh, when it dries and I'll sort that back later as well. So here I am clipping off the tail. Oh, I hate doing that. But that's, if you want to be in Clan Scurvy, you got to lose the tail. Now this is the part that I wanted to add to make them stick out a little bit more. Um, I love having units with banners. A big banner makes them stand out and it looks really good. So with the Storm Fiends, a lot of the stuff, a lot of their backs, there's like a lot of like flat pieces that I have to cover up all the time. Um, so what I want to do with this guy is stick a banner on his back and stick something else on his back to cover all that up. So I got a banner from the Plague Monks kit. I got a pole piece that was just lying around from somewhere. Uh, glued them together, make sure it was set nice and hard. Um, so it wouldn't bend or break on me later on and once that was drying or while that was drying I moved on to what's going to be on top of the banner so I had this really cool pieces uh, from the ogre kits now this is the lookout nobbler their banner they have like a banner and then they have like a little boxing that this lookout nobbler stands in so I didn't want it to be a nobbler I, w I really wanted it to be a little scaven guy up there pointing the way and all that but the piece is very small i couldn't get the head really any head to fit properly so what i did was i went to the citadel uh skull box you get the box of skulls and stuff like that and the original idea was to put this little skull that had like a beak on it like it was a little mutated guy with a beak or something like that it didn't really fit so i changed it to just get the big ogre skull piece which is really cool and put that on and that can be like his helmet so we'll never know what's behind that helmet. Uh, we don't know if it's a Skaven, whether it's a little human, whether it is a little nobbler. We don't know. So I call this guy Skull Boy. So he could be making an appearance in a couple of more projects down the line. Who knows, maybe I think it's a cool little piece to add in to a couple of projects as well. So as I said, there's like a box part that he stands in. So I glued that to the top of the banner. I didn't glue him in until he was all painted up and um, because just for to make it easier to do. So here I am with this little, miniature drill thing that belongs to my dad I was able to use 
and it let me kind of smooth down or cut off the edges to get that kind of smooth transition from the arm to the new hand and then I cleaned it up with a with a big dry brush so I need a finer part so I went over with a file um, it took a lot longer than that to do but that was just like the quick way of doing it so for the gun part on his right hand side I wanted uh, he shoots out these kind of round ball things but I wanted like a little mouse a little scaven mouse to stick out of that as well it's just a nice little addition one of these little things that adds like a little bit of uh, something extra to look at and there you go there is the finished piece all painted up as well and everything so I added another little or a giant rat to the base and I added um, kind of like a sleeping backpack now that's from a 40k case I don't know it was part of my bits I don't know where it's from but it was in my bits box so I kind of scraped off the 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 wing thing that belonged to the space ring that insignia um, and I put his foot standing up on it just to make it look like maybe that's a scaven sleeping bag or something like that but oh and also I put like that kind of boiler thing on his back that's from the special teams unit so I cut that off stick, stuck it on the back to really cover that kind of flat piece on the back and he turned out really good the base is done exactly the same way as I did with the other two I didn't see much point in recording how to do the base and um, you just look back on that it's really simple um, but overall I think he looks good I'm happy with how he turned out I like the handler I love the banner I love skull boy on the top um, and I'm really happy how the whole unit actually turned out so if you guys like this project make sure to let me know in the comment section below in the next video I will be showing you guys how I painted these guys up so make sure to keep an eye out for that uh, it's a lot of fun painting these up but uh, yeah that's it for this video if you like it make sure to hit the like button leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't and once again thanks for watching I'll see you guys in the next video